big day today. We're getting uh, the earth tube finished up. The reason we were at a setback to get the earth tubes in um, is because the earth tubes, four of them go underneath of this cistern. You can see uh, Alien Allen working hard there. And we had to get this cistern that's been sitting around here for three years. Well, actually it was in the backyard in our water supply. But now we got a bigger one. But this cistern had to be cleaned. And so we power washed it six times and vacuumed it out. And it is ready to be plumbed. Now we're gonna be using a, a deep water well pump very high power and very cheap for 150 bucks you can get a, a pump that will pump water 500 feet high but this is only going to be pumping at 12 feet into the greenhouse so this 1,000 gallons is our greenhouse water which we will use to water with and the gray and shower with and flush a toilet with eventually because there will be a greenhouse bathroom in the greenhouse um, so we needed to get um, the cistern cleaned and now we have to because it has been sitting for a year excavate this out install the tubes and go get the plumbing so when we get the plumbing we'll show you how we install that into the cistern so that you can pump water up into your house if you catch it from rainwater or if you fill it from the well we'll be right back so this it's the hole here is prepared for the cistern we're going to be using uh, we've got it graded. Uh, I brought in some real nice sand down here. And we took out all the big rocks. And we've got the earth tubes that are in and out. This is the out, this is the in. And we're going to be plumbing it next to the out tubes. The reason we're going to be plumbing this cistern right next to these out tubes is because these are going to be drawing the hot air out of the greenhouse and they're going to prevent any freezing in our water line. Well, that's the plan, <laughs> at least. <laughs> because you have to have a plan in order to reach the finish line. So, we've taken this cistern, we took out what I had in here, which was a three-quarter setup. And we replaced it with a one and a quarter setup. That's correct? Correct. One and a quarter. So what Alan is about to do is he's going to take uh, the first piece. And we'll just show you real quick how to do some uh, PVC. We're going to just rub, uh, put some Teflon tape on that threading. Here, go for it. And you want to wrap your Teflon tape at least two or three times. And we bought the expensive stuff. This stuff is 20 bucks a roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you always want to wrap the Teflon tape in the direction of the thread. So right. he's going in the wrong direction right now. He wants to be going the opposite direction. So you just look at how the threads go on the plastic and you wrap it in that way. And then we'll tighten the, uh, we'll tighten the piss out of it, as they say. And then we're going to be using glue. Simple primer and glue. Standard PVC stuff and PVC joints to plumb it. But before we plumb it, we've, uh, like I said, Alan power washed this. So it is ready to go. And we've, uh, then we have to put in the well pump, which is going to go right here. Lots of ways to get water out of a cistern. You can pump it from inside the building and just uh, plumb it up. But we're going to use a very high power economical way to pump water from a cistern into your house. And that is to buy <laughs> a deep well pump so this is a deep well pump that you would normally slide down the well casing you know 200 feet down and the water would be pumped out of here and then it would be pumped up this inch and a half or inch and a quarter my, my bad <laughs> um, all the way up and it can, then this one can go up to like 600 feet so we have 600 feet ahead here on a very high power, I believe it's a half horsepower, um, 8 amp. And if you use this inside your cistern, can you imagine the water pressure you would have? And not only that, these are now available so cheap. I picked this one up. It has a 15-year warranty. 
it is brushless and they don't break and I got it for hundred and fifty dollars delivered and it weighs like 40 pounds you felt it this thing is substantial so all you got to do is take that baby and plumb it right here on the bottom of this just I'm gonna connect it right here and lay it in and then you have to set your cistern at a slight angle so that the pump is laying down like that and so that none of this sediment that collects down here uh, affects the pump. You can go flush if you want if you're going to keep your cistern super clean and we are but it's also nice to have that little kickback so that you can catch the sediment in the back. So that's our design and we're going to stick with it. And that thing is massive. That's three feet long isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So we'll show you how it comes when it comes. And we're going to try to get this tank set today, backfilled and plumped. And if we do that, that will be a boom. Do not try this at home. Bye. <laughs> Teamwork. Bye, hey guys, we're working on the earth tubes once again. Hopefully I can find the other videos to sew these all together. If you remember, earlier in the summer we had a huge uh, 300 foot long slot here, 12 feet deep. That's where the earth tubes are in and out. And Alan cleaned this, power washed the tank, and we plumbed it, and we backfilled it. This has taken maybe five or six 10-ton dump trailers full, and it's still not full. We have to bring this grade way up, but we're getting there. And the earth tubes come in and out here and go under and next to the water tank, which will help heat that. Uh, the main out are these two tubes. And those go right on top of the one and a half inch plumbing supply line from our tank, which is going to come out, be split around here throughout the greenhouse for watering uh, and for uh, other purposes. I think we're going to put a bathroom in here potentially and a shower. And so we're just finishing up uh, the burial and the placement. Uh, this is one of the chimneys. We're going to have two main stacks, one stack on this corner and another stack on the other corner. And these are the areas that where you harvest the hot air, send it into the ground, and it comes back out at 54 degrees. Or vice versa, you just turn on the pump. And so the way we've been doing the earth tubes is the tubes out are very shallow and they're going to be heating the ground in the back end of the greenhouse here. We are wrapping them in recycled feed bags to for a little extra vapor barrier and protection. Why not? And the other chimney is here in this corner, which will be the intake up here 
and this air will get sent by the uh, water tank and under the water tank out 300 feet and back 300 feet and then it comes back in over here where we'll be growing food in the front of the greenhouse and there will be four vents one two Alan's making three right about there and there's four so these are the four air conditioning vents or heaters however you want to look at it that will pump 54 degrees into the greenhouse at all times when we turn on the fans now this allows you to have a 54 degree low temperature in your greenhouse which is uh, extremely tropical you can grow anything on the planet in a geothermal greenhouse that uses earth tubes now this is a closed loop earth tube system this morning we got out here and worked for like 47 or more minutes and put the base plate in here. <laughs> no, how long did that really take, Alan? Excuse me? To put this plate in? Oh. About an hour? Not very long at all, about an hour. About an hour. And so, uh, our plan is once we get all the tubing in and backfilled, to quickly frame this out and close it up for the winter so we can work inside. That's going to take us ordering a whole lot of glazing for the greenhouse and we really haven't decided what that's going to be. So that's our earth tube tropical greenhouse system and that's what we're doing. Subscribe to the channel, share this with like-minded people. Thanks for watching. Be safe.